professional model. And again, it'll be $129 in the December catalog. From Sharp in the data bank world, they finally done it. They took a look at their widget and they corrected every one of the problems. First and foremost, it's got a QWERTY keyboard finally, so no more ABC. It's got a twice the memory of the last unit, 128K, and it'll now be expandable up to 256K. It's got a screen that's twice the size, and it's got built-in help, so all the help functions are built in now instead of uh, they want to look at the manual. And that is going to be a total TSI exclusive through Christmas. So at 399, we should do everything we can to make sure it's a success. From a company called Phone Effects is the new uh, 25 sound box Phone Effects. This is a great little novelty piece that attaches to any phone you have, and you allows you to use all sorts of fun sounds on the phone while you're talking. And the sounds include laughing, screaming, babies crying, trumpets barking, so on. Mr. Walmart's on the phone to you and you're tied up and you can just hit a siren and tell him you gotta run. <laughs> <laughs> and finally and lastly, we'll be introducing the Bart phone. The hottest licensed product on the market today. We have one piece of the telephone for $49. No features, but I think it's all right. And that's it. I'm new, my name's Ed Streeter, this is my wonderful assistant, Vanna. <laughs> oh, man, don't drop your bread. <laughs> We'd like to talk to you about housewares, personal care, and art this afternoon. The first item I'd like to talk about is the machine at a desk lamp. This is a unique product to Sharper Image. It is a $99 desk lamp, and virtually no other lamp in this price range will can pivot and rotate 360 degrees. So it's it's this is a prototype by the way, so this this isn't gonna do like with the ones in the stores. The arm is counterweighted, which maintains perfect balance. The reflector is etched. The uh, blue cobalt treatment is cosmetic, but it glows blue when the lamp is on. It has a 50 watt halogen bulb, which as you probably know is the same as a 150 incandescent bulb. Uh, I got three position switches, on, off, and low. And the shade doesn't get hot by the way it's insulated. You can touch the shade at all times and it won't get hot. Now, this unit is the top of the line in bread makers. It's kind of the Cadillac of the bread maker field. It has a larger capacity than your standard bread maker. It makes a one and a half pound loaf. Uh, it has a one year warranty and it comes with all kinds of neat measuring cups, spoons, and a cookbook. Uh, it has pre programmed settings, the neatest which is called the quick bake feature. What that does is at a push of a button, you can speed the process from what would be four hours down to two hours and 45 minutes. Uh, it has a unique yeast dispenser, which is microprocessor controlled, it measures heat and dispenses the yeast at the right time. As you, all you bakers know, I know, that if you're either too hot or too warm with the yeast, it doesn't rise right. So you won't have that problem here. Uh, what I would recommend you try to do in the stores is bake bread in it during the Christmas season. The, sell, the smell sells, it really does. And I, I would really encourage you to try doing that. It's simple enough that anyone can figure this out. It also has a 13-hour preset button, so you can put in all the ingredients, go to bed, and when you wake up in the morning, you can have hot bread. Uh, it won't overheat. It has a power interrupt system, which even if the power goes out for up to 10 minutes, it will resume right where it left off. These are all features you won't find in other units. It has a cool-down fan. The important point about that is it allows you to maintain the loaf shape of your bread. Some of the bread makers you might see, the loaves when they come out look like globs. This item, not new by any means, but this is the Dremel Electric Shoe Polisher. Shoe polisher is almost a misnomer, it's more of a buffer. You can polish shoes with wax with these, but by and large, most people use them to give a quick shine to their shoes in their home or their office. Uh, it's chrome with a black button, it's 32 inches long. It plugs into a standard 110 outlet, and this is one of the oldest and most respected manufacturers in this business. This should be well received. We expect to do roughly $200,000 in this item also. 
Next, we're going to talk about the Krupp's Il Primo Espresso Maker. This is going to sell for $99, which has been a hot point in espresso makers, but ours has got some added benefits that you won't get in other units. Uh, we expect to do roughly $350,000 in this coffee maker. Uh, the unit is unique. You can interrupt cycles or you can do separate cycles, like you can froth milk without having to run through the whole cycle. Most espresso machines, the only way you can froth milk is if you go through the whole cycle. This has something which we call perfect froth, which you don't have to mix. You just hold the milk in here and it automatically mixes it and gets the froth on top. With the air. <coughs> they tell you that it doesn't make your arm tired. Yes, right you know, it's a lot of work to do that. Uh, it was designed by a noted Italian designer. It has a one-year warranty. It is much quicker than most espresso machines. It makes four cups of espresso or cappuccino in five and a half minutes. Many other machines take up to eight to ten minutes, so those are things you'd want to let our customers know. It's quite simple to operate. It has a pressure relief valve. In case the pressure builds up into it, it will release it, so it's very safe. Um, it comes with a cup adapter. Instead of using the carafe, you can just pour it directly into two cups. That should be a good item for us this fall. The next item we have is an item that's gotten a lot of attention in kind of a dull category. It's the DeLonghi toaster oven, which is our black beauty right here. What has really skyrocketed this product is the fact that consumers reports rated toaster ovens, and this was the number one rated toaster oven or their best buy. Ever since that point, this has been a hot oven. It's the Cadillac of the toaster business. It's a 0.5 cubic foot, which is much bigger than most. Uh, it has a interior light, which is important. A lot of them don't have that. It has double wall construction, and it cleans easily. It's full view glass door, allows you to look in quite easily while things are cooking, and it comes with a six foot cord everybody to stand and come to attention, please. Attention, Womack? Yeah. Uh, he left. Mayor <laughs> Mueller? Ladies and gentlemen, be seated, please. <laughs> the enemy has very deceitfully taken advantage of the Christmas holiday to cause maximum consternation in the marketplace. We've developed a battle plan. A battle plan. <laughs> that too. <laughs> We've developed a battle plan across two theaters of operation. So, the clothing theater and the sporting goods theater. We feel we have an arsenal of weapons that will be the ultimate in combating our competition this fall. To begin with, all of our units will be equipped with the AV216 Averex flight jacket. This is a continuing product in the past couple of years. However, this year we have been most aggressive in our plans. The AV216 will sell for $329. It will debut in the September catalog and also appear in the November, December, and January books with a current planned 100% exposure in the January catalog. Our plan is to sell over 2,500 units of this viable weapon or $840,000 at retail. This will account for 34% of our sales in the clothing theater of operations. A couple of the features of the jacket, lest you forget. It takes four hides of lambskin to put this jacket together. It's fully lined throughout, it contains fully sewn shoulder epaulets. Our next weapon. Some of you may remember FNL Industries. He's helped us in many other theaters of operations, and this year we have a new product entering the clothing theater. 
This nice looking Euro style jacket will sell for $329. They use in the October catalog and will also appear in the December and January books. It has a four inch collar with a locking clasp on it. It is also made of lamb skin. Our current battle plan is to sell 900 units of this weapon. It will amount to $300,000 at retail. Thank you. <laughs> Our next weapon proudly bears the insignia of our unit. <laughs> this, is, <laughs> this is the Sharper Image Photography Leather Jacket. It should be noted that this jacket is made out of grade A Napa cowhide as opposed to grade B Napa cowhide. <laughs> The problem here is that Great B Napa Cowhide has the average lifespan of an Iraqi tank commander. <laughs> <laughs> this item will <laughs> come back here, truth. <laughs> this item will sell for $199. It will debut on 100% spread in the October catalog. It has zipper sleeves. <laughs> The sleeves actually detach so it can be worn in the fall and spring as well as in the winter. It has YKK zippers throughout, nylon with <coughs> old mixed cuffs and collars, as well as an inside pocket to hold secret weapons. As I noted, the item they use in the October book on 100% will appear also in the November and January book. Our plan is to sell 1,500 units. This will amount to $300,000 at retail. It should be noted that all these plans are for third and fourth quarter alone. Thank you very much. The leather category, these three items, will account for 60% of our casualty, excuse me, sales <laughs> in the clothing category, of which we will do two and a half million dollars in the third and fourth quarter alone. In the next theater of operations, the Sporting Goods Theater, we have the Avita Hip Stand. The item number for this is VA200. It debuts in the October catalog. Our plan here was to make a very high quality home workstation, similar in concept to something like a Marcy app board. This will enable the customer to do various types of pull-ups, dips, and push-ups, all with one machine. It will sell for $229. We plan on selling 2,000 units of this weapon for a sales plan of $470,000 in the third and fourth quarter. It should be noted that we also plan on doing 3,500 Marcy app boards. A couple of selling features. The item assembles in as little as 15 minutes. It stands seven foot tall, will hold 250 to 300 pounds. It's one and a half inch steel tubing. It has a black powder coated finish. The next item for our winter troops, Sevilor inflatable snow sled. This item was meant to capitalize on our already successful inflatable program from the spring of 1990. It has ribbed runners on the bottom. It's fashioned after a very exclusive French sled. It will have our exclusive graphics as well as design. This item will sell for $69. It debuts in the December book and will also appear in the January book. Our plan is to sell 3,600 pieces of this weapon for a total sales at retail of $245,000. It has four handles, electronically welded seams. It's essentially made out of the same material that water gas are made out of. Finally, the Cat Eye Ergosizer. <coughs> this item will sell for $699. It will review in the December catalog. The important feature to this item is that it uses a magnetic resistant system similar to that in the life cycle, similar to that in any institutional quality <coughs> exercise bike, at a very attractive retail of $700, which is about half the price that you would find in those types of models. It also Cat Eye Company is known very widely for their computers. This has a very advanced computer on it. By attaching an ear clip to the earlobe, it will monitor exercise time, distance, cadence, calories, and watts as an extension of power, which is becoming a, a hotter and hotter feature. Our plan is to sell 300 units of this in the month of December for $215,000 at retail. Again, the largest selling feature to this bike, and I cannot 
underemphasize this. <laughs> this data uses the same magnetic resistance found on bikes at over twice the cost. Good luck and good sell. Games and toys, and unlike most of my firefighting friends, it's my object to light a fire under you for the Christmas season. Gifts, games, and toys. Let me start out with something that you guys have requested, and we're. The request was to get something that is in the holiday mood out there, so we have uh, a lovely vodka. Although we're. <laughs> Although we are putting these in a position where we're trying to get these as year-round festive items, it's a good one to have in your store to help to sell the Hanukkah and Christmas people. Uh, the candlesticks as well, they're going to retail for $119 and $149 the set of candlesticks. And that takes care of the gifts. As far as toys go, we have wide range for all sorts of kids and young adults and older adults. Um, we start with the F-14 Tomcat. No. <laughs> 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 there we go. Comes with your own remote copy, headphones, which uh, we'll put over to the dance. And uh, the wings, like the real F-14 that we have in Iraq, it, uh, the wings expand when you take off. It makes all the sounds that you need. <laughs> it will lift up in the front to simulate flight. It has machine gun in the front, bombs on the top, all for $99. Nice gift. All sorts of kids will want it. We're projecting this to be the number two item that we get scattered. <laughs> <laughs> Do you have batteries, batteries in that one? Can you, can you rev it up? Yeah, this this one's just a prototype. Right. Otherwise, we'll take off with it. But... Right now. <laughs> <laughs> um, next up is the new bright fire engine. It's the same type of thing. It's got all sorts of features. It comes equipped, especially with sound. And sound's a big thing to have but this year. This has a snorkel unit. It doesn't work with water, but the ladder comes up and down. It goes at safe, slow speeds, but it's got the features of forward, reverse, left, right, siren, and the ladder comes up, circles around 360 degrees. That comes for $79. It's a good one to sell. Easy price point. What it does, it takes you on a helicopter mission, on a helicopter mission over enemy desert and water, and you shoot at enemy targets. It keeps score for you. The idea is to get over 35 points or 35 hits. That will make you a top shot pilot. That comes for $69. It's going to be shown on, in December on 45%. Actually, out of fuel. But the way it cycles is you go through once and then they say you're out of fuel. You have to rewind and go back to the start point. Um, Porsche 959, which is what Al is for. It's the uh, adult version of the, of the kids action toy. It does cost uh, 249 but it's got all sorts of speed, independent suspension. <laughs> um, comes with a set of off-road tires for off-road use. It has front fenders so you can use it on-road or off-road. Great value, super speed, great handling. It's a typical um, Miko. 
nice product. Uh, good for adults, probably more so than kids. Uh, the two can that we're going to be carrying don't have a sample, but uh, you can use your imagination. It's going to look just like Al with Al's face. <laughs> we're addicted to sell oodles and oodles. It's just going to be a great item. Uh, it's going to cost $99, and it's going to speak back. It gives you 15 seconds of recording time. And it's like, it's like the pair we have now, except uh, better looking products. The boxing game. This, this one will be a great one in the stores. It's really interactive for kids and adults. So you have like, two boxers. It's kind of, it's kind of tough to display right, right now, but it works on an air pressure system where you hook the gloves onto your own hands, and by jabbing left and right in the air, it sends a jolt down to the boxer's arm, and they punch at each other. If you hit the other boxer in the right spot, it trips him, knocks him down. <laughs> <laughs> So $69. For the upscale driver, we have the 699. It's a simulated Ferrari, made in, well, Italian design, obviously. It has a two-touch, it's for children six and up. It has a two-touch system where they have to use two feet to press, which is a good safety feature. It has an adult adjustment, so the top speed can either be three and a half miles per hour or six miles per hour. So you can adapt it to how old your kid is. It's very stylish. If you have the money, I think kids will really love to have one. So we're hoping that our projections aren't that high, but because the price point's really nice, it's going to be a great item to have in stores. And so we can make it. Games. We have the large pool table next. We're going to cover your toys right now. But what this one does is expands on the successful theme that we've had in the past. This one is over half the size of the pool tables that are in the bars right now. This one's five feet. It has um, authentic pool cues that are 57 inches, which is the official length. Belt and everything is uh, very well done. It's a 349 price point. Um, it's projected to be one of our top five in the, in the toys. Two can, Great. you need to lift it up. <laughs> no, the table, the table, the table. She's um, joking. Okay. This, what makes this one different also is it won't have the uh, snooker markings on it at all. There's no way. The balls that it uses for this one are one and three quarters inch which makes it more realistic. Same sort of home benefits that we had before. Um, roulette table will cost $159. It expands on a gambling theme from before. It has a metal, has a metal spinning wheel, official roll, all the gambling spots that a uh, Vegas table has. It comes with chips, six different colored chips to have your pretend bedding. Um, great item at 159. People have been loving it. It's a great one to get people in the stores as well.
which are hot and exciting. We've gone with these products with the intention, as always, these are your products exclusively. They'll be yours forever exclusively. They'll be yours around the world exclusively. These are products which you can take and spend as long as you need promoting and selling and making money on. So this is something, hopefully, that will be products that will last as long as the slide viewer and so forth. The first thing I'll talk about will be a product that will be ready in about 60 days. <coughs> which is the new cassette clock radio. This is a product which will replace the uh, Sharp SH100, I believe was the number, and has a cassette. You can go to sleep to the cassette. You can wake up to the cassette. You can also use it as a regular alarm clock, or you can use it as a radio alarm. The product will be available in two colors, the ivory or ash that you see here, and a dark grayish black color. The product uh, is also an international product which are all around the world. <laughs> For those of you that have stores in your area which sell to overseas customers, this product uses a standard 12-volt transformer, which we will supply to the sharper image in a variety of different types, 220-volt for uh, Great Britain, for Japan, for Argentina, etc. So if you have a customer come from South America and he wants this product, you'll be able to sell him this product and sell him an accessory transformer that will work wherever he goes. So you won't be limited to say this product works in the U.S., but it won't work in your country. All of the new products we're making will be these international products that work around the world. You notice we have a flag for each of the countries where the Sharper Image has a store right now. In addition, with this uh, cassette radio, you'll see that the sound is dramatically better than you saw on the Sharp. We went and had a special speaker made in Korea, which gives you a phenomenal sound. I think you'll all be very pleased with it. The next product that we have to talk about is the luggage. Now this is a product which has been a long time in coming, but I wanted to be sure that we got it right. This is fully packed for my trip to Hong Kong, where I'm leaving tonight. As a matter of fact, this bag just came from Hong Kong yesterday. And this is the first sample. One of the things that you can see is that it has a very industrial strength hook. This is the same type of hook that the very expensive garment bags use, which are made to mount over a door, and they don't want to slip off of it. Also, you notice it's attached by a strap rather than a normal little chain which tends to break off. It's highly unlikely this is ever going to break off. This strap is here pretty much to stay, I think. When you go to use the bag from the outside, you'll notice that on the top, the handle is held on by 12 quarter 20 inch screws. This handle is also not going to go anywhere. The handle is made of two inch seat belt webbing. <laughs> this is something that I think you'll find you won't have the problems that were brought up to us with the Giasi. In addition, you have YKK hardware here and so forth. It has the Sharper Image monogram on it. And we'll show you some more about the Sharper Image in a little bit later. The outside of the bag, we have two pockets for shirts. On the back of the bag, we have one, we have one pocket for your dirty clothes. <laughs> so when you're traveling, it's hanging up from the top. This clothes pocket is available from the top and you drop your clothes in it. Now from the inside of the bag, as you look at it, this is for your shoes, these two pockets down here. And 
these were designed with Richard's intention that they hold size 13 high top tennis shoes. These are big pockets. You won't have people saying that shoes don't fit in them. Another advantage of it, when we open up this pocket here, is you've got two carrying compartments. One here for your toiletries. And one down here for any wet clothes you may have. Swimming suits, or in the case of Don Rothenstein, jogging clothes. <laughs> <laughs> On the inside of the bag, let's take right that part. The lining, for those of you in the front that can see it, is a subdued version of the sharper image wrapping paper. So it's subtle enough that it's not upsetting to people to look like they're carrying a big promotion around, but at the same time it says the sharper image. And the lining throughout, both in the pockets and the inside of this, is the same. The hangers take standard hangers, the clip bars that hold them. It'll take several suits. This has got two heavy suits in it. It could take easily a third and I think a fourth without too much trouble. If we unzip it all the way down to the bottom, and if I'm tall enough, for ladies who might wear a dress in it, they can put the dress through there, and when they fold that back up, it folds the dress up. In addition, that dress compartment also is a uh, tie compartment, and it has a zipper on it, and you can carry your ties inside there. Everything in this is made out of 420 denier nylon. It's very heavy duty. It's held together, as you can see, by the hardware, by very strong hardware. There's a matching, uh, this is the garment bag, there's a matching flight bag that will be available at the same time. I'm leaving for Hong Kong tonight, and we'll start shipping these to you in about two weeks. Inside, the way they'll be packaged is they come in a clear plastic bag with this brochure inside, which shows how it works, what all the parts are. We're trying to get away from any copy because this is an international, an international <laughs> product. <laughs> the flight bag has the same thing with it. As we talked about before with the keychain, I won't go through it in detail because we mentioned it, there will be two new keychains, one with a blank face and one that has an engraving on it which can be custom engraved. Galen has made this display, which is the prototype, and the new display will have uh, places for all three of the keychains. So your people will be able to show the customer it's available with the traditional model, in the one that's blank face, and the one that has the custom engraving it all on one display. And you'll be getting a new display at the same time you get the new keychains. I guess our biggest concern on the keychains is to be sure that your people show them when someone comes to the cash register that they say, by the way, have you seen this new keychain? When it comes to the Audio X, I'm sure you're all familiar with it. We're very happy that the Audio X has been, on the average, the number four most profitable product in the Sharper Image since it came out in uh, late June. We now have a second version, the Audio X2, which will be coming out. And this will be available probably in about 60 days also. You will have two displays. This is a prototype of the second one. The units are decidedly different. One feature difference is price. This one will be $169, the regular Audio X is $69. There are some significant differences to them. As you notice, just looking at them, there's a difference in the color of them. There's also this module that goes down here, and they come with a great deal more accessories. I'm sure you're all familiar with the basic product and the reason people use it. The reason they use it more than anything else is watching television to be able to hear. When people are using this product, most of them own hearing aids, and they have it mounted on their television. And with this, they can easily hear it. For people who've grown up in hard of hearing families, you know, normally the TV is set so terribly loud that no one else can hear anything in the room. With this, you can set the TV at a very low level, and the person watching can adjust it to their own level. From the warranty cards that we get back, that's the number one reason. Almost everyone says they own a hearing aid already also. So we know who our market is. Our market is someone who owns a hearing aid and realizes it won't work for all purposes. Now the new product, the Audio X2, the difference is this. It's a little bit bigger, as you can see, just a little bit. And it's got some extra features. The most prominent one is that it has this docking port. With this docking port, you can slide it in place now, and it draws power from the wall. 
using that same standard transformer we had before. And because it's this standard transformer, it's truly an international product. <laughs> the transformer is the same transformer on all the products that we'll make. With this transformer, we're going to give the customer an added advantage because they don't have to buy batteries all the time. And since they don't need batteries, they're going to save some money. Because if you sell these to people who are older people and watch TV for a long period of time, they'll have to replace the batteries about twice a month. With this product, the docking port will save you enough money to pay for the difference in about a year. But the docking port has some other advantages. The docking port, in addition to hooking to the wall, also hooks to the remote microphone that goes to your television. So as soon as you come back from wherever you've been and you drop this in the docking port, it's now connected to the speaker on the television. In addition, it connects to the telephone. So now if you are a hard of hearing person, one problem you have hearing, that hearing aids don't always help well, is on the telephone. So now with this product, you're hooked to the telephone simply by installing it here on the docking port with the connector that comes here to your telephone. The phone rings, ding a ling a ling You pick up the phone. You don't have to pick up the phone, put it down. All you have to do <laughs> is press this button, and now you speak into the speakerphone and you hear over your headsets. So when you're, on, you're watching TV, the telephone rings, you press this button, it shuts off the speaker from the uh, television and connects you to the telephone. Now you have a wonderful speakerphone. And uh, some of you here, I've called on the speakerphone, and no one knows it's a speakerphone until I say, by the way, I'm speaking on the speakerphone. It's that good of clarity. So for hard of hearing people, you've given them that advantage. In addition to the regular headsets you already have, the small buds, it comes with a very nice set of uh, big muffin headsets. It also comes with a carrying case, which I don't have here, so you can carry this with you with the components that you would normally take when you go on the road. And while you're using the product, there's a balance control, which goes for your headset. So if you are hard of hearing in one ear more than the other ear, you can adjust this for that ear. You can also adjust the treble and the bass. If you're more hard of hearing for low pitch or high pitch sounds, you can adjust that here. This product will be available, I said, in about 60 days. We'll start shipping them to you. The price the retail will be $169. We have another product that will be coming out fairly shortly. And this is an unpainted plastic model. This is as far as we've gotten on this so far, although we are in tooling on it. We'll be done tooling in a few weeks. This will replace the pestering. And this product does something that none of the other ultrasonic pest devices do. First of all, if you look at the insides of it, which I brought along, it has two speakers, and these are different speakers than everybody else uses. We went to Motorola, the speaker manufacturer, and we're asking about the speakers, and they said, you know, no one's ever asked us about what kind of speakers to use. And we make a speaker that's even better for it than what everybody else is using, but no one's ever asked us. They just buy the other speakers from it. This is a speaker made specifically for these very high ultrasonic sounds. So we're using two of these speakers. And the way the tone is generated here, it goes up and down, off and on. So it's not a constant tone. It's as irritating as you can get by making it come and go, get louder, softer, and change pitch. Now, many of your customers who use the pest chaser may or may not have dogs or cats. If they have a dog or a cat in the room, nor normally the dog or the cat is quite comfortable, but when you turn this on, the dog may hear this sound. And when it comes on, it makes a large, obnoxious sound, it bothers the dog. Well, the dog doesn't like that, and you don't want that in your house if you like your pets and you have this, but you don't want the other things that come with this. So there's a switch on the back, and if you have dogs, you throw this switch, and now it will raise the pitch high enough that dogs won't be able to hear it. It'll be a little bit less effective for some of the uh, rodent-type animals, but it will still work for them and won't bother dogs. You also have another switch on here, which allows you to give this more output, enough output that you'll actually hear a, a, a very light hum and click in the room when you're in the room with it, the room's quiet. Now, if you go away or you're not in that room very often, like the basement, you can leave the switch in that position. Now it's much more effective than any of the other devices. If you're going to put in a room like your bedroom, you throw that switch down, and now it becomes a little bit less obnoxious to the pest in the room, but also makes no noise to humans in the room. This product will be available sometime in the very late fall, probably just about at Christmas. Obviously, it's mainly a first quarter product. We'll also make it in a second version, which is an outdoor version. And you can put it outside in the garden or outside the house to keep pests away from the house, like uh, rats, moles, rodents, this kind of animals. It'll also work with raccoons and other things like this. And we're going to try it with Deborah Bishop's cat. <laughs> to keep my cat away? To keep away from your neighbor who's starting to kill it. 
Uh, this product will be available, one in the green version, which is a watertight version for outdoors, and the other version will just be the inside version. The inside version will be about $49.95. It will be available around December, January. In addition, I forgot to say that this is also an international product, and it uses the same transformer. <laughs> lastly, I think lastly, on the sound soother, which obviously has been very successful, we have a new model called the SM243. It's the exact same model, but it now has a 110-220 switch on the back of it. So again, those of you that go in Florida or New York or Los Angeles or, or Hawaii where you have international customers, if you take the SM243 and sell to them, then they can just throw the switch when they go overseas and it'll work on 50 cycles, 230 volts, or come back here and throw the switch and it'll work in the United States. It has detachable cord on the back. We can't make an external transformer for this product because the transformer is so big but it will allow you the external cord to accomplish the same thing. So these are the new products we have. There's one more I don't have to show you, and that's we're making a replacement for the Fast Track tie rack. And this product will be available right around the first of the year. It holds 72 ties, so it holds more ties. It moves faster, it is very quiet, it doesn't make the electric as it goes around. It also has the capability of not only being able to be mounted on the bar, also has the ability to mount it on the side of a wall, on the back of a door or underneath on the inside of a shelf. And it's well, essentially the same size and shape, but stylized in quite a different way, and I think you'll be very fond of the way it looks. And that'll be available right after the first of the year. So those are our new products. Thank you very much.